That's the story dominating the headlines worldwide today. The Catalan Regional Parliament voting to declare independence from Spain and the Spanish Parliament approving direct rule over the region. How has the news been received internationally and what does it mean for the region, which is home to 7.5 million people, some 16% of Spain's population? Our reporter, Jonathan Scott, joins me in the studio with the latest. Jonathan. Well, we saw political theatre today, Ian. Depending on what side you're on or how you see it, it was either uh, a once-in-a-lifetime moment or a farce. Either way, it's definitely a fast-moving situation and the international community is responding quickly. Uh, we asked the Gibraltar government whether it would recognise Catalonian statehood. A spokesperson said that uh, the constitution sets out that the United Kingdom remains fully responsible for Gibraltar's external relations. The UK then reiterated its position that it does not and will not recognise the Catalan Parliament's decision to declare independence from Spain. Theresa May's official spokesperson said that the declaration was based on a vote that had been declared illegal and the UK wants uh, to see a return to the rule of law. Uh, so many see Catalonia not just uh, as a problem for Madrid, but also for Brussels. So we've also seen the president of the EU, Donald Tusk, uh, say that uh, for the European Union, nothing changes. Spain remains the only interlocutor. And uh, interestingly, he did say that he hopes the Spanish government favours force of argument, not argument of force. The United States and NATO have supported the Spanish position, as have Germany, France and Italy. The news is particularly interesting to us in Gibraltar because it all starts with a referendum and a claim to self-determination, uh, and it also impacts, of course, on the whole of Spain, which is our neighbour. And um, this literally just in minutes ago, the Catalan Parliament has been dissolved by the central government in Madrid. Uh, new elections have been called for the 21st of December. Uh, Rajoy has called it a sad day and uh, he says that his government has started to adopt the necessary measures uh, to uh, bring about Article 155 and, and bring it into effect. Uh, so government ministers and police in Catalonia uh, cease to act in their roles, according to the Spanish central government. That's just in after a press conference given by the Spanish Premier Mariano Rajoy. And, of course, there are also, uh, looking for the local angle, there are Gibraltarians living in Catalonia. Uh, we reached out to them today. Colin Finlayson told GBC a lot of people who voted for independence did not want today uh, to come about, not in the way that it did. He says that the issue has been forced. Adriana Lopez told us that uh, it's been a shock as the last month has been so politically turbulent and there's a lot of uncertainty now. And Kathy Gordon told GBC that she's very relieved uh, and the Republic has now been declared. She said that we needed this move. Thanks for that, Jonathan. So the question everyone's asking is what happens next? Well, it's, I mean, the last time that the Catalan Republic was declared was, I think, in 1934. Uh, a war ensued. Um, the independence itself only lasted a, a number of hours. Uh, people were killed in Barcelona as a result. Uh, hopefully we don't see a, a, a sort of a return to, to that violence. Uh, commentators are saying that uh, mutual mistrust uh, between the two administrations scuppered any chance of a deal. Uh, so now what we're left with uh, is with a head-on clash, basically. Uh, and to quote one of the Gibraltarians living in Catalonia, Oliver Felice, uh, he said, nobody knows what's going to happen next. Okay. Thanks very much.